AI Color Match is simple. Find an image that inspires you, import it, and apply its look to your own photo. But which photo editing program does it best? In this video, I'll be checking out two other color match features from Capture One and Avoto AI to see how intuitive and accurate they are and how AI color matching fits into your editing process compared to our AI color match in Polar Next. To do this comparison, we'll use two destination images and two source images. At the end, I'll display the results so you can decide for yourself which feature performs the best. Let's get to it. We'll start with Capture One. As you can see, I've got both destination images already loaded into the program. And then on the left-hand side, there's a panel that says adjust with a little tab that says match look. This is where you're gonna drag and drop your reference image into the dotted rectangle. And then Capture One's gonna give you all these options that you can customize how it's gonna apply the look to your photo. I'm gonna leave everything on default and I'm gonna see how well this moody mountainous <laughs> look does on a wedding photo. And as you can see, I think it does a pretty good job matching the look. It really toned down everything in the photo and muted everything. Even the blue sky you can see before, it's very blue, very vibrant. And now it's very muted and matted. And I think it matches very well to the reference image. I'm gonna drag in this photo here. So we've got some bright blue skies, some green grass, and then a bride here posing. Really, really nice shot. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it into the dotted rectangle and then again, leave everything on default. Let's see how it looks. Not bad. It's pretty strong with the blue here in the mountains. The sky is still pretty bright and blown out. It's very, very contrasting. Not if you guys can see, but the lips on the bride, they seem to have been desaturated. So if I slide that before and after slider, you can see that they've really taken out those reds from the image and now it's a little desaturated. So I might have to get in and do some work on the adjustment panel. You can see that caption one does output the parameters. So I would just have to go in and adjust all those things. But as far as copying over the look, I think it did an okay job. You got to keep in mind as well that this is kind of like a blown out white sky. It's like towards sunset. Whereas the reference image is showing a bride posing in like bright daylight with the blue sky. So now we're in a photo AI. You can see the destination images down below. And on the right side, there's the adjustment panel. And there's an AI color adjustments tab. We're gonna go ahead and click upload references. This is where you can bring the reference images in. And let's go ahead and find them. We'll start with the brown moody mountain photo here. We'll go ahead and open it. One thing to note is that the photo AI does transfer your image to their servers in Singapore in order to process and apply the look onto your photo. Now, as you can see, I think it did a really good job copying over that moody, darker look. This reference image was a little tricky, so I wanted to really try it out and see how well it does. I might prefer Caption Ones over a Votos. It's a little bit darker with the bride and groom, but it really took out the color from the sky here at the top, really muted it down to copy the reference image here. So let's go to the next image, the bride and groom walking through the grass with the, like the blown out sky. We're gonna go ahead and upload the reference again. We're gonna find that photo of the bride standing in the green grass. Go ahead and open. Photo's gonna send my photo to their servers in Singapore. And now it's gonna kick it back to me. And this did a better job, I would say for sure. I think still really strong on the mountains with that blue color, but they've really brought the blue out in the sky, which is really matching the reference image. The color in the grass really matches well. Also, Avoto was able to keep that red tie and the color in the bride's lips. So I don't really have to do too much in the adjustment panel. The big difference is that Avoto doesn't output the parameters here when you're trying to match look with the photo that you upload as a reference. So, wow, nice job Avoto. And lastly, here we are in Polar Next. We've got the AI Color Match tab open on the left-hand side. This is where you're gonna drag your reference photo and drop it in that dotted rectangle. And then once it's imported, we're just gonna hit Apply Current Image and let's see what Polar Next AI does. All right, so you can see it's not as dark and moody as Caption One and Devoto. It seems like it did prioritize the couple as well as they are pretty bright. The AI did take away that blue color from the sky as well, which matches up with the reference image, but it is pretty bright and it makes sense because the destination image that I chose, they're really strongly backlit by the sun 
here in this mountainous area. And you can see the reference image is shot during like an overcast, misty type of day. So um, I can see where Polar Next is like conflicted, where it's trying to give you that moody look, but also trying to keep intact like, hey, your destination image is strongly backlit. Your couple's going to be really dark, you know, like so very, very interesting to see the difference between Capture One, Voto and Polar Next. Let's go to our next image. All right, so we got the couple walking through the field. Let's get that photo of the bride posing. We're gonna drag it into the dotted rectangle again and hit apply current image. All right, not bad. You can see the strong blues in the mountain range back there. Did bring out some more blues than Capture One did. Very much like what a Voto did. I'd say the grass is pretty spot on and you can see the red tie and the lips on the bride. Very, very, Vibrant. I know this is like a very quick test, but there you go. Capture One, Avoto, Polar Next. So now that we've compared all the programs, I'm going to go ahead and throw up the results and I'm going to show you the reference image and then I'm going to show you the results from Capture One, Avoto, and Polar Next. What do you think of AI Color Match? Let us know in the comments below which program delivered the best results for you. If you want a deeper look into how Polar Next compares to other Color Match software, check out our in-depth AI Color Match video. Ready to transform your entire workflow? Sign up for Polar Next with your Gmail account and we'll kickstart your creative journey with 2000 export credits on us. Transform your photos, define your signature style, and join the future of photo editing today.